All right, so this episode of Three Scary Games, we're going to start off with one called Replay. First off, let me see if I can turn... Yeah, no sound options. All right, we'll, we'll just deal with this blasting. I'll uh, fix that <laughs> later, hopefully. So, Andy to move character, look around. Space to jump and use doors. Let's get into it. Oh, shoot. This is cool, but am I supposed to be- Oh! A little joystick here? What's up, sir? Yeah, I don't like- Ah, I don't like that poster there. Am I supposed to do anything with you? Nay. I like how anytime I go into a house, I'm just sneaking around. Hello, neighbor. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I did not like that. I feel like I'm gonna go into one of these houses and just get got. I keep seeing that damn poster out of the corner of my eye there. And, uh, it is not making me happy. Okay, real talk. Am I- I won't have this real talk anymore. Never mind. Never mind. Hello? Oh, you can see the joystick going around. I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff. It's a very long house for one coin. Oh, oh, he's dead. Oh, I can't believe you've done that. No, where's where's the music? Oh, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> Take my eight coins and let me progress. Yeah, there's something going on over there before. It's making me real nervous. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. This is to the other house, perchance? Yes. Uh, no one's home. Please go. Oh, oh, a friggin' poster. Ah. Uh. I don't like this no more. Oh, I really don't like this no more. Give me my comfort music. Where's the do 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 do? Come on. Can I not leave? Did I just get acid spilled on my head? What was that? Okay, there's a lot of blood now. Well, that's... me?
slow? Uh... Do, 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 do. Music. Nothing bad happens while the music's going. To be fair, nothing bad is happening right now either. Whoa! <laughs> that is not okay. Oh, am I killing everyone? Is that what's happening? I'ma come get someone, apparently. Let me in. Knock, knock. <coughs> am I being stared at again? God, I hate that poster! I really wish you wouldn't do that late. Oh. Hello, Mr. Buff Guy. Ah. Oh. Wait, can I leave? Cause I, I know this is making those footsteps get closer. Oh my God, can you screw off poster? Oh, this is not okay. <coughs> He's creeping closer. Oh boy. Please, no. Ah, you're beautiful. Replay? Okay, that was <laughs> incredibly short, but that was actually pretty suspenseful. <laughs> I, uh, I liked that. Had a lot of creepy aspects, most of which were that dumb poster that was haunting me the whole time on the wall, but that was pretty good. Yeah, honestly, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Okay, next we have Hibernation, and kind of has the opposite problem of uh, the last game. It is incredibly quiet. Let's get to it, though. I believe this one... Peanuts family? Is that you? I believe this one is about a serial killer, and uh, there's a reward for finding him. Which, to be fair, I don't know who I'm playing in this game, but I feel like that's a job for someone not me. I always hate coming back to this town. Gotta get in my my narration voice. But I want that money. Guess I need to find some evidence about her case if I want them to cough up that cash. Yes, give me the monies. Ooh. Huh. I actually really like uh games in this style. Like, it's just a very eerie feel. Wait, is there... Can I go to this house first? Probably should... Ooh. Probably should since, uh... It's closest. Knock, knock, it's me! Can I just keep knocking and harassing them? Is that exactly one more time? Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Sorry. I'll be nice and close your gate. That's supposed to be a cigarette? 
kind of looks like a battery. Anyway, knock, knock. It's me. Open up. I'm here to talk about your car's extended warranty. Uh. Man, no one's... No one's wanting to talk. And I dig through their trash. I can tell a lot about someone by what trash they have. I'll be nice and close your gate too. Screw this guy. You're not getting your gate closed. Knock, knock. Selling Girl Scout cookies. Open up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I can knock too. Ha. Yeah, you're sassy. You're definitely not getting your gate closed. That's a bridge. Oh, uh, looks like it's chained shut. Wait, what? Looks like it's chained shut. If I want to investigate, I'll uh, need some bolt cutters. Do I have some in my vehicle? I feel like that's definitely not a serial killer thing to do. Nope, can't interact. Okay. Across the river? Nope. Blocked off. Okay. Yeah, I actually really enjoy games like this with uh, the pixelated stuff going on. <clears throat> I feel like it just always has such an eerie feel to it that I just genuinely enjoy. Ugh. Is that a dog? No. No, that's a log. Close enough. Knock, knock. Uh... Okay, find a key in the priest's home. So here's the bolt cutters for that. Can I go out back? Nope. Okay. So back to the green guy's house. He's the priest, which... Hello? Oh, goodbye. This is the priest's house, I guess, which makes sense because of the cross there. He's kind of rude, though. Okay, maybe I'm dumb. Uh, forgot that wasn't the locked one. This was... This is the priest's house, which doesn't make sense because he doesn't have a cross on the door there. Ooh. Lucy has been spouting nonsense again. Something about wanting to leave town for good. How dare she? We've been here our whole lives and she's just going to throw her... Uh, uh, where was I? She's just going to throw her history and our church away. Maybe sending her there more often will help. There must be a way to convince her to stay. Well, murder probably, uh... Wait, read. What? Alcoholism. That's evidence for a uh, serial killer. There are multiple beer bottles scattered around the house. Ah! I can use this to say the Prince family were heavy drinkers. True. You could. Perhaps this influenced the tension between the Prince or Price parents and their daughter. <coughs> it could, yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say that's scattered all through the house, though. Do I have to look behind me? Oh. Your deformed box-like head is very lovely. Was that not evidence? Really? A Bible is evidence, but uh, a, a creepy box-headed lady is not? Evidence number two, Bible. There are multiple religious books around the house. I can use this to say religion was a factor as the Price family frequently, or frequent, blah, blah, frequented the nearby church. 
Perhaps religion influenced the Price family to murder their daughter. Ah! Possibly? I'm assuming no more stuff here. Go out back. Aw. <coughs> Gravestone. Alright, what am I thinking here? There's a lone grave sitting in the backyard. I can use this to say they buried their daughter out of guilt for what they've done. I know there's no body here, but nobody else needs to know that. True. So I'm a sleazy detective. Is what I'm gathering here. Why is there one red bush? Uh oh. Yeah, there's no <laughs> no bodies here. Uh. Oh, what am I going to say about the dead body? I'd say that's pretty hard evidence. Evidence number four, a corpse. The body of Mr. Price is in the backyard. It looks like he overdosed on pills. Hmm. Drugs. I can use this to say that he couldn't handle the guilt from murdering his daughter and took his own life. That is pretty shameful. I agree. Mr. Sleazy Detective. Lucy is... <clears throat> Sorry. Lucy is gone. Our daughter is gone. The police say she is missing, but we both know she isn't coming home. She's gone. Our church said they could convince her, and now looking happened. I threw the key to this place into the neighbor's trash. Out of anger, I don't think God can help us anymore. We failed. Huh. I like how you can see the words through all the bushes here. <laughs> like a light source poking through oh yeah <laughs> that's that's exactly what it is they're embedded in the gravestone it's kind of funny I mean whatever works works all right so what does say something about trash out back he must be in the trash still but the trash pile I was talking about earlier? That right here? Yes, it is. Dude, the foreshadowing. I looked at that and instantly knew it would be important later on. Okay, and is that to here? No. <clears throat> oh, right, right, right. The church over there. Sorry, my ADHD is peeking through. And I am currently running on two and a half hours of sleep. So I'm just a little bit slow. I mean, I'm usually a little bit slow. I'm just a lot of it slow today. Ew. Spoopy. Wait, was that leaking water? No, I'm just crazy. I don't know what that was. <clears throat> We gathered you all here today. A moment, mm, a moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, where the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Our Lord will return, and doing so, he needs a vessel. The local maiden will be appointed for hibernation, awaiting his return in the bowels of the church. Ah. That doesn't sound too great. Did I break the game? Nope. Oh, blood rain. Where am I? This isn't the neighborhood I remember. Wait, did I go out the back door? What just happened? I teleported. Oh my goodness. What was that? I just jumped through the air. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Well, I feel like that's them. Oh my god. 
Okay. Uh, maybe stay on the path here so that doesn't happen? What's this? No, that's nothing? Okay. I'll accept it. I assume they're supposed to be gravestones, just unmarked. Is this the bowels of the church? Hmm. This is... very dark. Any clues going on here? No. I'm gonna check over in that mysterious dark corridor as well, but I'm assuming it's linear and I'm just supposed to go down the staircase. Yeah. Yeah, to the staircase! Huh, evidence collected, five out of four. How long has it said that? I have all of the evidence. Are you hibernating? No? Oh, okay, what's happening? Oh, lovely! Oh, that's really funny, uh... Just like an overlay on the screen. I can still angle my camera to have the open menu pop up there. Okay, so evidence five, Lucy Price. Lucy Price is dead. I did the dead myself. I did the right thing. The day of rapture will follow soon. I did the deed myself. Did that always say deed? Am I literally just going crazy right now? Only through her hibernation will our lord will our lord will return to us. We will stand above his town as the trumpets screech their song. I did the right thing. I really don't think you did. Like I just have a sneaky suspicion you did not do the right thing. For he is king. Okay, what's what was all that banging the entire time? Great job! Uh... My ears? Hey! All the money! Uh... Case conclusion, after a local detective investigated the Price family home, <coughs> they discovered that after growing tension arose in the family, Lucy Price was murdered by her parents. This detective has been paid a $10,000 reward by Lucy's relatives for this unfortunate discovery. More on the story at six. Is it gonna flip and be like, more on the story at six, six, six? No. Had an opportunity. Thank you very much for playing my game. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, I feel like it's the weaker out of the two I've done so far. The scariest part was uh, the medical bill I'll need for hearing aids, though, after that screech at the end. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't it was awful. It was pretty good. I had fun. Uh, kind of cool mechanics. Okay, and the last game for today's episode is going to be Go To Bed. I believe it puts you in multiple different situations, and you have to pass each situation to survive. Could be wrong. If I am, I'll probably fix that later on. 
explanation, I mean. Press E to use. Okay, so lock the door. Oh, hide knives. Uh, ooh, window probably should be locked. Yeah, can I lock the window? No, just close. Okay, arm security. Uh, am I missing anything very obvious? Light bulb screwed in. Was it locked? Nah, nothing weird like that. All right, I'm uh, I'm gonna go to bed and hope for the best. Uh, did you lock the front door? Yes, I did. Okay. Did I close the window? Yes. Yes, I did. Can't get me through the window. Uh, did you arm home security? Yes, I did. Whoa. Still broken? Did you hide the knives? Yes? Am I still going to get punished or did I just do this first try? Oh, cool. Yeah, well done. Next situation. That was a lot easier than I uh imagined. Okay, so this scenario, I'm an alcoholic. Got it. Okay, so... Hide the knives. Lock the door. Arm security. Close that window. There's a hatch here. Am I doing something with this hatch? Cover hatch? Is that a prompt? No? Are we good again? There's nothing else to interact with. Damn, take out the trash needs to be a prompt. This guy is kind of crazy with all this stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna go for it. Situation two is the same as the first, maybe? <clears throat> is the house secure? That's very vague. Yes? Am I sure? No. I feel like the, ah, there's that hatch on the floor. Like, I feel like there has to be something with that, right? <clears throat> I'll try to go around, interact with stuff one more time. If I cannot interact with this. Yeah, I can't interact with it. I'm just gonna shoot for, yes, the house is secure. And I don't like how it has me questioning stuff, though. Wait, E to use. Oh, the door, right. Okay, yeah, go to bed. Let's just send it. Is that secure? Yes, it is. Checked it myself. Double checked it. Yep, I am positive. Good? What? Oh. Oh. Mm. 
This, uh, ambient noise reminds me of the PlayStation 1 music. Like, when you first start the console. Wait, is it the PlayStation 1 or the Sega that makes, like, the weird, dreamy, dripping noise? Whatever it is. Oh, oh, it's on the bed right there. Yeah, that'll explain it. God, what is this place? Oh, meat. Mmm, delicious. Is that a whisk? Uh, no, no, that's supposed to be a human hand. Very whisk-like human hand. I mean, that's supposed to look like a face, right? That's the whole point. Give a little bit of a spook. Ah, the body's just everywhere. Uh, I don't like when the music goes away. And bodies go away. At least I still have the toilet paper and bin face. God, meat. Uh, nope, whisk hand is still there. Man, what kind of building is this? Oh, is this the hatch that was in my- Oh, <gasps> it was. Man, I knew that hatch was something. Oh, did I just lock myself in here? Oh, it's locked and needs a code. And that code... is not on the refrigerator or table. Oh, I should check for the alarm. Or maybe I can cut the wire with something. Yep, then go to the knives. Oh, I hid the knives. There's no way out. Maybe back down the stairs. Mm, don't think that's a good idea. Really don't think that's a good idea, my dude. Oh, what's happening? Oh, hello? <laughs> I'm sorry? I tried going to bed? My house was secure. Okay, short game by Joseph. That was actually kind of fun. Uh, I was expecting it to be more, like, puzzle-like, I guess. Um, <laughs> especially with the mechanics of, like, yeah, make sure everything's locked, hide all the knives, all that. I was expecting it to be more like a puzzle oriented to like make sure you did all those objectives correctly and maybe more objectives later but i do want to go back and do that again but fail the objectives to see what happens just for curiosity's sake yes my objective is go to bed so i'm gonna I'm gonna lock everything, but not hide the knives first. See if that does anything. If not, we'll try some other stuff. Okay, did I lock the door? Yep. <coughs> Sorry for the occasional cough, by the way. I'm still recovering from COVID. I have this obnoxious cough that just will not go away. Did you close the window? Yup. Yup, arm security. Did I hide the knives? No. All right, what's gonna happen? Ooh, creepy. 
Oh. Okay, just default running boy. And it just puts you back in situation one. Okay, so I'm gonna do everything correctly, but I am not going to do anything on uh, the second simulation to see if I can maybe escape. So I feel like that's a great opportunity for like multiple endings. I feel like that has to be a thing. Because we know we die if we don't do the situations right, but I feel like we can maybe escape and there's a good ending if uh, we uh, don't do stuff the second one. Yeah, everything's set. Yes, I hid the knives. The canives. Okay, next situation. I believe this is the one that's like, hey, did you do this, this, and this? Yeah, because this is the alcohol guy. Okay. So, I'm going to close the window, do that security, but I'm going to leave that door unlocked, and maybe the knives there still. That way I can maybe grab knives. This is my mentality, I doubt the game is this in-depth. Theoretically, maybe grab the knives if possible, go out the door. Huh? Where am I? Okay. So... I'm just gonna assume nothing's changed. Go down here. Hello! Grab the key. Music stops. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, uh... The guy from... Rayman. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what it reminds me of. I saw that, I'm like, wow, this is really familiar, but I just couldn't put my finger on what it reminded me of. It's definitely like the flying mouth with eyes and gloves from Rayman. Need to find a way out. Can I grab the knives? Oh, no, I can't. I probably don't need them though, right? I can just... It's unlocked! Easy. Okay. Cool, so there was a, a quote good ending. Unquote. Yeah, so that was go to bed. That was actually a lot of fun. Again, I do wish it was more like puzzle oriented. I think that was a, a missed opportunity. But I know a lot of these indie games <coughs> are uh, kind of made on like a very tight deadline for like competitions or stuff like that. So can't really diss on it too much that was really fun i like the concept <coughs> yeah yeah that was go to bed and that's the end of the three scary games uh i'm gonna continue doing this hopefully weekly if uh my schedule permits it uh originally it was just gonna be a spooktober thing but you guys seem to enjoy it i definitely enjoy scary games i'm a big horror fan in general so yeah, if my schedule permits, you can probably expect weekly uploads every Wednesday of uh, different scary games. Uh, I'm pr I'll probably just gonna keep doing the three like short scary games. But again, if you guys have any games in particular you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments, and I wouldn't mind looking into those and maybe playing uh, like longer format horror games or stuff like that. Like and subscribe, we would really, really appreciate it. 